Hey guys, this is Jesse. I'm making a short tutorial on how to get a SEMU working with your Steam Link um, at the request of Poetic Blade Zero. So the first thing you need to do is open SEMU up and select Render Upside Down because uh, the Steam Link has difficulty displaying SEMU properly without that setting selected for some reason. Um, make sure that any kind of X input gamepad is configured on your PC before you play it through SEMU. Next, we need to go to Steam and select to add a non Steam game. Hit Browse. And then select SEMU. And then add it to your Steam library. All right, so we need to right-click SEMU and hit Properties. And change the name to whatever game you're wanting to link it to. In this case, it'll be Super Mario 3D World. And you can Google custom banners for Steam. So I just downloaded a JPEG file for Super Mario 3D World to give it some needed flair on the Steam uh, big picture interface. Now under target, you just type in space dash G and then go to your uh, games directory. And it could be an RPX format. Um, Super Mario 3D World is a WUD file, so you just highlight it and click on copy path. Go back to target and you can paste in the link. Make sure that there's a space between everything. And then at the end, just type in space dash F. Okay. So we're pretty much set up here. And you can see in your library list that it now says Super Mario 3D World. So here I am on the Steam link in my living room and I can go to library and there's Super Mario 3D World right there. Because it has to render SEMU upside down, you'll notice that the overlay kind of has issues. Some things appear upside down, but all of the Wii U games play without an issue, except for Zelda, which requires one extra step. So we're gonna just try this out, show you how well it works. and I'm using a PS4 controller. It's very easy to set up the Steam Link to register any kind of controller as an X input. And I'm holding my phone in one hand, so obviously I'm not gonna be showing off my skills in this video. But it actually runs nice and smooth. Fluent enough that my six-year-old and I can play Mario Kart 8 in my living room without having to dust off the Wii U. And there's the upside-down overlay again, so we can exit the game. Alright, so next we're going to show off Breath of the Wild. Now there is an extra step that you have to do or else you're going to get like 15 frames a second. I'll leave a link in the description below, but you have to download a file called SEMU hook and just extract it into the SEMU directory. If you have a mouse and keyboard hooked up to your Steam link, you can just press Alt and Enter and um, enable SEMU hook, but I don't, so here's my computer and I'm just selecting this hack under Options. And Breath of the Wild works mostly without a hitch, but I just installed a new uh, 10 terabyte hard drive and I haven't invested in solid state yet, so the emulator has to build up a shader cache over time as you play. Um, so the stuttering that you're seeing isn't going to be typical in the long run. 
I just need to play so it can build up those textures in a file so it can access them quicker. I've mostly played this on my computer, but I've sunk several hours into it just on the Steam Link, and I've never had an issue, really. I'm hoping that the small problems, like having to install SemuHook, get fixed in the future. The developers of Semu have actually done a very good job at fixing issues um, one step at a time. I mean, it's quite a big project, so you should never expect it to be perfect. But I remember when Semu could first play Breath of the Wild. If you were standing still, you would sink into the ground. There were all kinds of uh, texture problems. So, I mean, it really has come a long way, and the newest update actually highlights Pokin Tournament, Hyrule Warriors um, being playable for the first time, as well as a bunch of fixes for Zelda. So, I can uh, make an updated video when these extra steps are no longer required. I just wanted to give a quick thank you to Poetic Blade Zero for his comment, and um, be sure to leave a like or subscribe if this video has helped you. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, just leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.